Okay, into the backing by ratios tab. This is very similar to the backing by odds tab, but instead of odds, we have odds ratios. We have spent a lot of time developing odds ratios and testing them and have come up with four that work really, really well. The first one is the away odds divided by the home odds, the draw odds divided by home odds, the draw odds divided by away odds, and the final one, the home times the draw times the away odds. What we try to achieve with odds ratios is a nice tight clustering pattern. So here, for example, you can see many of the ratios clusters are populated with very similar numbers of matches. And you can see that in most of these ratio types. The best one of all for clustering is the last one, the home times the draw times the away odds, where sometimes all of the clusters contain exactly the same number of games. So why do we use odds ratios? Uh, well, sometimes they are a much more effective way of grouping certain types of matches. For example, the home times draw times away odds ratio gives scores at the lower end of the scale. Uh, these represent matches between two very close teams, whereas scores at the other end of the scale tend to indicate the games are between hot favourites and rank outsiders. So we have a nice development in the odds ratios, uh, depending on the strength of the, the two teams involved in the match. All four ratios have produced profitable systems for us. Uh, the two which have produced more than others are the first one, the away odds divided by home odds, and the home times draw times away. You can do exactly the same with this tab as we showed you in the backing by odds tab. You can find the batches of odds ratios which produce profit. So without even looking, I can see that batch there produces profits in all five seasons and 2,505 is the total from the 5303. I'm sure if we sorted further we could improve upon that and you can also carry out the inflection point exercise that we performed in the backing by odds video. Okay, on to the quick stats tab. This is a very straightforward tab. You cannot change anything in it. It's fixed. It just gives you a very brief summary of how the league has performed in terms of home wins, draws, away wins, and then split between the favourites and the underdogs. And finally to the data tab you'll find out how to sort the information in this tab from the two videos following which are backing the underdog and backing the home underdog two very interesting videos which you should watch but i'm just going to outline the construction of this particular tab again it is static unless you unlock it to sort it so all of these figures update automatically from the backing by team tab and here is perhaps a little bit of a, an easier overview in terms of the profitability of each of the bet types so again we can get an idea of which are profitable uh, which are a lot more profitable and which will perennially lose money Helpfully, we have the, the winning and losing streaks here as well. So, for example, backing the draw, despite the fact that the longest winning streak is 8 bets in a row, and the longest losing streak is 11 bets in a row, uh, the total of 10,244 units deficit is uh, a huge amount. 
Over here we have the goals analysis, which just gives you a breakdown of the number of goals scored per season by both the home team and the away team, and then the averages uh, per game. That's for all five seasons. And a little bit more information further along. Here are the four odds ratios columns, which you can also use to sort the information in this table. Uh, we have given you the score distributions. So for this particular table, being a half-time table, we have the half-time score distributions. So you can see that nil-nil is by far the most common result in this particular league at half-time, followed closely by 1-0 and then 0-1. And to complete the score distributions, we have these split into the under and over X goals categories. So again, you can see frequencies and the zero odds which match the frequencies for both the under goals and the over goals. This is probably perhaps more relevant to the full-time HDAFU tables rather than the half-time ones. So just to reinforce the data tab, the games included represent every single game played in this league during the last five seasons and they are arranged chronologically in the order that the games were played so that the, the winning and losing streaks are true figures. If games took place on the same day at the same time then the games are ordered alphabetically according to the home team. Right, well that's the end of this particular video. Uh, I can assure you that these tables are truly magical in terms of the value that they provide to us personally in allowing us to choose profitable betting systems and I'm sure with time and once you get used to them yourself uh, you will also get to the stage where you can rely purely on statistics to compile extremely profitable football betting systems.